and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be setting up for the month of December. Um, I have my monthly, uh, this, <laughs> monthly view stickers ready to go. Um, that is kit 21. I have kit 23 here, but this is for my A5 planner. Same with um, kit 23 for the monthly view. I've got some cute um, clip art here. I don't know why I'm just like having a huge brain fart today. Um, I have my December budget that I'll set up with you guys. I have my three washies, my thin washi, weekly check-in, sinking funds, and transaction log. And I will be uh, setting all of that up with you guys today. So, I think I'm just going to start with the... December monthly. So now I've got all of my stickers down. This looks gorgeous. I love this kit. It's it's like one of my all-time favorites. Um, but that could be because I just love Christmas. And then I always skip this page. I don't really use the dashboard. So we are going to... We're going to start setting up our December budget. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I actually just went Black Friday shopping not too long ago, obviously. <laughs> and I bought a new printer for my Etsy shop. So now... I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but this one is from the new printer. This is from the old printer. And you can like, I mean, in person, I can see the difference, but I mean, in person, I can see the difference, but on camera, I don't know how much it's going to show, but it definitely shows in the title. Um, but this is more so what it looks like on the screen versus this. This is more... Um, let's see vibrant um the colors are more like accurate you can see in my lml stickers that this one is darker and that's how it's actually supposed to look and stuff but you know my other printer did great and i did love it especially because of all of the money i saved on ink but at the same time I've always wanted my stickers to be, you know, like the best that they could ever be. So I bought a new printer for Black Friday to uh, do that. And I'm pretty pleased with it, but of course, um, I <laughs> already went through the sample ink because I printed out I like sold mo way more than I expected on Black Friday. So uh, I did not have enough inventory. So I had to print a lot. And I was using the new printer for that. And so, of course, the sample ink that came with it, I already ran through. 
and now I am waiting for the like actual ink cartridges to come in. But I did take a video of when I got it and whatnot. I don't know when that's gonna be up because I want to like compare my old printer and my new printer. And I wanna show you guys the difference um, as much as possible. And um, yeah, so that's just like a whole nother video that I started, but I haven't really finished it yet. Um, let me see here. I've got my little cheat sheet right next to me. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this will go on number 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And for fixed, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this will be 10. So we'll just pick up one more. Okay, and then we'll use this one again. Because for whatever reason, I'm in like this matchy matchy mood. But yeah, for Black Friday, I also bought a label printer. I was buying like the Avery labels that you just print off from your computer to your printer. And I would have to like, uh, obviously you purchase the labels, you download the labels, and then you print the labels. And then when I print the labels, I have to cut it in half and then I have to cut down all four sides because obviously, like it's bigger than a four by six label because it's on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Even though the labels come two to a page, it's still pretty big um, and it doesn't fit exactly on my packages. So I have to cut them down and that was getting pretty annoying. And then of course, like I'm starting to get more orders and more sales, which thank you guys so much. Cause seriously, I know it's my YouTube fam <laughs> that goes over and buys, and I am so thankful for you guys, especially Black Friday. Like, you guys blew me away. Um, it was so amazing. I told Ethan, like, oh, like, I'm going to cut out just five um, Black Friday freebies because I don't want to print out, like, ten or something and then be disappointed or sad or anything if no one buys my stickers on Black Friday. But on Black Friday alone, I got five orders. And then the next day I got more, and the next day I got more. And now I'm on, it is Monday the 29th today when I'm recording this. And um, my sale is still going on until midnight eastern time tonight um which is 40 percent off my entire shop and so i was just like i'm just so blown away that you guys bought and everything and i just appreciate it so much i was so excited ethan was very happy for me so yeah i was able to um, reinvest that money in the um, business. So again, thank you guys, because without your guys' purchases, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to um, uh, invest back into the business to make my stickers better for you guys. So I was able to get a new printer, a label printer, and... I don't know there, there was a bunch of other things and now I can't even remember I literally got so much though just so I could uh better everything what else oh I bought one other thing but I need to buy another machine too 
to work it. So yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get this ball rolling because I don't want this video to be extra, extra, extra long for you guys. So our first variable expense is groceries. And I've been like dinner planning and meal planning and stuff like that. Um, so we are sticking to a budget of $60 per week. So for the month, that will be $240 for groceries. Um, We're also trying to go on like a diet and exercising and stuff like that. So our go-to meal is chicken, rice, and vegetables, which is actually very cheap <laughs> to make. So I think that we will be fine with $240. For groceries so household normally I put this in with groceries at one point so I started with groceries household and then I separated them and then I noticed like that we were staying under for groceries and we kept going over for household and instead of just changing the numbers for whatever reason I was like you know what I'm just gonna combine these and keep my $300 budget like I've been and that was working fine for us but I just did like a big household item haul at Walmart getting trash bags and baggies and laundry detergent and everything else and I didn't get any groceries and of course I went into the groceries category and I was like man I, I kind of want to know exactly where everything's going so I'm gonna split it up again um, so I'm gonna do $40 for household just because I literally just bought like $100 worth of household items last month that I don't think that we're really going to need much. Eating out, I used to give us um, $100 to $125. This month, I'm going to bump us way down to $60. Because like I said, we're going to try to start eating healthier. We're not going to eat out so much. So $60, I'm thinking is a good amount for us to either go out once with family or friends or whatever to a restaurant. But if we don't, then, it, you know, we could get sushi two, three times or, you know, we could, I don't know. But $60 seems like it should be fine, especially when I'm making dinner plans. I don't see us eating out as much as we used to. I gave us like $100 or like $120 in November. Let me see here. And we did not spend nearly as much as... Wait, why am I all the way back in September? Oh my goodness. So I gave us $100. Last time I checked in, we still had $22. And that's only because me and my mom went out to dinner, which normally we never, ever, ever do. Um, like we literally never do that. My mom's on a very strict budget. We're on a very strict budget, but you know, it's good to just get out with your family and eat once in a while. Me and my mom haven't gone out to dinner in a very long time. So I wasn't going to tell her no, and she wasn't going to tell me no. So, um, next up is pets. Also with like Christmas rolling around, I really want to save as much money as possible um, so we can buy some, like, decent gifts for people, and also, like, we're probably going to be eating at home with family for Christmas instead of going out somewhere, because, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna support people working on Christmas, so, um, pets, we are going to budget $120. Pets has been, like, a rough, uh, category for us, so I'm gonna see how this does, but, I was only going to budget 100 but I was budgeting like 90 before. So I was like, eh, $10, not really great, but... Um, okay, so Levi was in the Christmas tree and I had to get him out. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have a fake Christmas tree, but the cats like to climb it and it's driving me nuts to the point where I love Christmas. I'll keep my Christmas tree up all year round if if I could and no one would judge me for it. Um, 
but I was really ready to take down the Christmas tree the other day just because the cats won't stay out of it and they're constantly knocking off the beads, the garland. Um, it's a pre-lit uh, Christmas tree and somehow like the lights are like wrapped around the branches and stuff and somehow Levi, my youngest kitten, is taking them off and I don't understand how because they're wrapped but he's literally like undoing it and then the lights are just dangling now so I have to fix those and of course they're not as good <laughs> and now there's like a hole in the tree because that's where they climb in and out from the ornaments are falling the tree skirt won't stay under there for for even 10 minutes, like they're driving me nuts. I'm ready to take down the tree and it makes me extremely sad. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's my little rant about why I had to leave for a second. Anyways, pets, this has been a bit hard category for us, um, but I know it's gonna sound ridiculous, but like I'm still trying to adjust to three cats. For five years I had or for six or no, four years, I had just one cat. And in the last year we gained two more. And I was still adjusting to having two cats when we rescued the third one, which was Levi. And uh, obviously that means more food, more litter, more money and stuff. And whatever, it, it doesn't matter. It's not about the money or anything. It's just the fact that I'm trying to get into a routine of like, okay, how much cat litter do I have to buy a month? How much food do I have to buy each month? And stuff like that. And because I'm used to having one cat and being able to buy litter once a month and buying food like once every two months or whatever it is. But with three cats, like I just... Like, when we first got Luna, it didn't even click with me like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to buy more food because now we're doing double the cats and <laughs> and stuff like that and more litter because we're gonna obviously go through more of it because there's two cats using it, not just one. So I was kind of transitioning from one cat to two cats and I still wasn't done trying to transition to that when we got the third cat. So I'm still trying to figure out um the food situation which I think I got that figured out like last month um we switched them because they weren't really caring for the food that they want that that I was getting so I got a more expensive like I was getting um a 30 pound bag for like $20 and now I'm getting like a 20 pound bag for like over $20 which is fine um but the 30 pound bag would last us, you know, probably six weeks, six to eight weeks or something. And um, now with the smaller bag, of course, I'm just into three cats trying to see how much they eat. And now the whole like, now I'm getting a smaller bag. So obviously I get more frequently again. Anyways, my long rant about cat litter and cat food, <laughs> still trying to figure it out. I think I figured out the food. I think I figured out the cat litter. We switch, we're going to switch to like a crystal one that's like soft on their paws. It's lightweight. It's low dust. Um, it's very easy to scoop. Um, when I have to dump it, it doesn't rip the garbage bags anymore. It's perfect. Um, and it's like $4.00 four or five dollars for like a four pound bag and so I'm gonna assume that we're gonna need like three or four bags of it which cat litter like clumps and it smells and everything else but the crystals like hold in the odor and everything like a lot of cat litter says oh it holds in the litter or holds in the odor but it really doesn't and this crystal one does, so I really like it, and it's longer lasting than actual cat litter. So even though we're buying less cat litter, um, we're saving more money and it's lasting longer. It's weird, but I'm gonna start budgeting $120 for that, but that's also including, like, I'm gonna get, uh, Leela needs a toothbrush and toothpaste because she's starting to get buildup on her teeth, so I need to start doing that. So she'll get that 
and probably some dental sticks and some vitamins for Christmas. And then the cats will probably get a scratch, uh, like a scratch pad uh, with catnip and maybe like a new laser or something for Christmas. And that's all going to be in the pet section, which I think I should have kept it at 150 on my draft budget. I had 150 and then I crossed it out and put 120, but we'll see how, how I do. Um, next up, let me try to go fast now because I know that this video is going to be super long. Um, and I apologize for that, but if you like long videos, you're welcome. So allowances, me and Ethan always get $100 each. So it's $200. We also agreed that we're not going to do much this Christmas. Last Christmas, we had just gotten our house. Ethan needed a bunch of tools. I bought him so many tools. I spent so much money last year that part of our account is literally still trying to come back from it. Um, I knew that we would still be fine and that's why I did it. But <laughs> I, it's just like, you know, I bought you all these things last year and now we have it and you don't really want anything this year. So I'm just going to pick you up a couple things. I don't really want anything this year. So you just pick me up a couple things. So we're just going to use our allowance for our uh, Christmas for each other, which is completely fine. It's perfect. We don't need things. We don't want things. Like it's good to feel like very satisfied with life and just being like, I want to spend Christmas with just my family and have a good day and not have to worry about like getting huge gifts or anything like that. Um, right before the video, I made up my draft budget, like I was saying. For NYSEG, I had $200, but then I checked the app and it was only like um, $150. So that's what I'm going to budget. So I was glad that I checked that. And then car slash gas for the car. So car slash gas means obviously gas for the car, but also like if I need oil change or a tire rotation or an inspection or, um, you know, just anything, a car wash, whatever it is. This is how much I'm budgeting for the month, which is $130. And normally I do like 100 to 125. I do 125 normally when I know that I'm going to be traveling a lot which I'm assuming for Christmas, we're gonna be traveling quite a bit. So I'm gonna give us a little bit extra. I don't know what the heck just got wet here, but whatever. And next up is uh, credit cards. So we put a lot of stuff on the credit cards, but we always pay it off every single month. So in December, I'm budgeting $500. I know what's on my credit card. I'm not sure what's on Ethan's, but normally it's like $10, $20. Mine is the one that we use a lot um, uh, for like uh, vet, vet appointments because I'm the one that takes them and stuff. So I'll put it on the credit card to get that cash back and stuff. Um, anything expensive, really, we put it on the credit card, not because we don't have the money, but because we want the cash back from my credit card um, company that I go through. So we'll be paying off probably close to 500 or maybe even a little bit over, depending on what Ethan has for credit cards. And then sinking funds, I really debated if we were even going to do sinking funds this month with Christmas because it's hard to put money away when, you know, you're spending a lot of money. Oops. I said 2.30, but it's actually Trying to make this look as normal as possible, but you know. And then the last category is unbudgeted. And we don't budget anything for unbudgeted, but we have that there as a placeholder in case obviously there is stuff that's unbudgeted. Okay, so real quickly, I'm gonna go through our fixed expenses. So we have our mortgage, which is $8.50. 26 which that just went down so that was nice um my car is 
319. My car insurance is 9183. My health insurance is 17412. Our phones are 129.99. Our internet, Ethan just got this down $10, so is now $69.99 instead of $79.99. Spotify is $9.99. Hulu. Uh, is $64.99 and I'm still going to put that even though they emailed me and said that it is going up this month. Um, Best Buy is $83.70. Um, so our total is $1,793.87 and um, this one over here is $1,675. Um, to get back on the Hulu thing, uh, they emailed me and said, oh, like we're changing our prices. It's going up to $69.99. Um, but that is going into effect like December like 21st or something like that and our Hulu comes out like somewhere between the 16th and the 19th so it said like if your bill is before this then it'll still be the $64.99 but if your bill is after this date it'll be the $69.99 um <clears throat> so ours should still be $64.99 I'm hoping so, uh, then I just put in our income types on this side. I think I'm going to do this one, this plaid, I'm feeling. But this is where I do the weekly check-ins. funds and transaction log and yeah I don't know I don't know what I was just gonna say but sinking funds I think we have to fix ours because I must have missed like a big purchase that we did with it because it is about like like a big difference off like nine hundred dollars off so I'm gonna have to fix it when I close out my November sinking funds and when I uh, put in the beginning and stuff for this which of course I could technically do probably let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and i think in january we're gonna switch up our sinking funds and like change some things around <clears throat> I don't exactly know what we're gonna change around, but I guess we'll figure that out. I just like to put washi here because you know, there's a bunch of extra space and I'm not doing anything with it and I might as well make it look pretty and this is kind of like, boom, it's ending here. Um, 
Let me draw my lines real quick. But yeah, we used to put like a lot of money into sinking funds when we had extra income coming in, but now we're still kind of adjusting to not having the extra income coming in. And of course, like Ethan got a new job, but it obviously came with a pay cut. So now we have a pay cut and not the extra money. So it has been very interesting here to say the least. I'm trying to adjust. Our first category is house, which is like home maintenance and whatnot. And I think in the new year, I'm gonna uh, like alphabetize or alphabetize. What the heck is that? <laughs> Um, I think in the new year, I'm going to put this in like alphabetical order. Alphabetize. Oh my goodness. I mean, that might be a word, but if not, then I completely just made it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. So our second category is gifts and this is like everything. Christmas, birthdays, um, you name it. That's what it is. Clothing. And then you put an E for Ethan. Clothing. Put an H for Hannah. Pets. This was really when uh, we were saving up for Levi's surgery, which he had last, or not last month, but uh, in October. Vacation. Medical. Entertainment. Oh my goodness, I did that earlier too. And I put Hannah for if I don't spend any of my allowance, the extra goes in here. If I go over, the extra comes out. Ethan, same thing. And taxes, I do Instacart and they do not take taxes out, so I take it out myself. And I put it in a sinking fund, so when tax season rolls around, I have money set aside that I don't have to worry about. Um, and I could technically do my beginning balance right now because I don't think I have anything going on today and tomorrow I'm pretty jam packed. I have to get my car inspected, which will come out of the regular budget. I have my, I'm going to go craft with my aunt, so I really shouldn't be spending any money because I'll be at her house all day. And then I have to pick up Ethan from work later that day, and we really shouldn't, we don't have anything going on. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to close it out now, but I'm going to open this one basically. So for the house, um, back in no November, you guys probably saw that, like, these, these are going to be huge changes. So back in November, it was $5,309.04. This month, because of the big difference and I'm like truing up our sinking fund account, we will beginning with be we will be beginning with $4,107.77. And technically this is about $400 less than what it actually is. So we sh really should have about $4,500 in there. But we used this account on Black Friday because Ethan needed a new desk chair. And so I let him take it out of the house account. And when I bought the printer, I just threw it on the house account as well, just because I didn't want my business account to go below a certain number. And sometimes when I do that, I just borrow money um, from our house account and then I schedule payments back from like what I make from Etsy I'll schedule it and pay it back um, because it's a business expense so and at some point this will be back up plus four hundred dollars whenever um, Ethan makes up his hundred and thirty or whatever it was hundred and fifty yeah, probably more close to $150 that he'll probably have to pay back to this. And um, me is like 300 or like 250 or whatever. I don't know. Um, and then gifts. 
we are going to start with two hundred and twenty two dollars and four cents which will be good for christmas um for ethan's clothing he doesn't really buy clothes so he had fifty dollars back in november he hasn't spent it in like two or three months i think it's been since august actually so he's had fifty dollars in there for quite some time um i spend a lot of money with clothing but i had to drain it because i did not want to take the full like n over 900 almost a thousand dollars out of the house account because there's stuff that we need to do for the house so I didn't want to take it all from here and be like, okay, well, I thought we had five 5,000, but now we're only at like 3,000 something. So I was like, I can handle having 4,000 in there um, set aside for the house just in case something goes, like we need the money there. So we don't need the money in for clothing. So we will build this back up. So I we're starting from scratch for Ethan. We're starting from scratch for me. Levi just got his surgery and I'm paying for it this month because it was on the credit card for last month. Um, so that got emptied. Vacation, we had $120 in there for a wedding last month. So we'll be paying for it this month. Um, so that will come out so I can pay for that. Um, so that'll be zero. Medical, um, we only had like nine dollars in there and i added 20 last month but you know like i said i had to drain some accounts so medical is gonna start from scratch again which is completely fine because i just use it for like our prescriptions or whatever which are not a lot so that's okay entertainment we we do a lot with entertainment so i did not drain that one we're starting with 13 dollars and 10 cents me and ethan like to go to a, like have a movie date once a month and there's a new marvel movie coming out around christmas time so we'll definitely be going to that so i did not drain that account um for me i only had three dollars and 70 cents so of course i had to give that back ethan had 43 dollars and 90 cents and i drained that as well um and he will just start building back up from there and then taxes is still 774 because i cannot like this cannot be zero i need that money in case i have to pay for taxes this year so our total sinking funds now, and it feels so much better to actually have a true number, is $5,116.91. So this we 100% have. So it feels good to know that that money is there. And then I'm going to set up the sinking fund, or the transaction log for the sinking funds because that is how I keep track of it all month long and that's what makes it easy to close out the sinking funds and start up the next month's sinking funds so easily without like uh, freaking out that, you know, oh my goodness, this is so stressful type of situation. Wait a second, I did not want that one. Usually I match these two, but I mean, that does look pretty cute. So I guess I'll just leave it. And then this one just has our one strip. It's easy. But yeah, it's the easiest way to, and, and I love this transaction log because it is so like universal. It, it, so. It's really nice. You could use it for um, your sinking funds, your cash dividers, your um, regular budgeting, anything, anything. I know I have a girl that purchased from me every single month and she buys at least four or five transaction logs. So I know she's using it for just about everything, which is great. I mean, I should really start doing that too, but. So I'm just gonna draw in my lines. And then that should be about it. So, the only things that I have left are these and maybe we will 
is this here down at the very bottom. Okay, perfect. And now we just have a couple extra washies, which is great, always useful. And then all of these are garbage. That's garbage. These are extras. And then at some point, I'll, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe I should put in my dates real quick and then I'll let you guys go because I have held you guys up long enough. So week one is probably going to be from the 1st until the 10th. And that is a very, very long time, but... I'm not really, I'm not going to track it for three days. So, we'll over here put 12, 1 through 12, 10. Because that video will probably most likely be, let's see, we're here. So, this is December setup. Then we'll have here for my plan with me, that will be... November results. So then the next week will be the 11th through the 17th. And then the 18th through the 24th. I didn't do this last month and I was completely like, what am I doing? And then the 25th through the 31st. Wow, that worked perfectly. That's awesome. That makes me excited. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is it for our um, December setup video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great December. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a great Christmas. Um, if not, I know there's like Hanukkah or yeah, Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. And I'm sure there's others out there. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but uh, I just don't know everything. I'm not, you know, the brightest crayon in the crayon box or whatever they say. Sharpest tool in the shed or whatever. But, you know, I try my best every day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, go ahead and... You know, comment below um, if your tree, if your cats get in your Christmas trees because it's driving me nuts. And if they do, what do you do to prevent that? Because I just have a squirt bottle and I just spray them with the squirt bottle to get them out. And they've become immune to it. So if you have any advice for me, let me know because I'm ready to take down my Christmas tree. Other than that, um, if you guys want to follow our um, budgeting journey, if you want to see plan with me's, if you want to see behind the scenes of an Etsy sticker shop owner, I do a couple day in the lives here and there. Um, I'll probably have a day in the life going up from like Black Friday of me like packing orders and talking about whatever I talked about. I don't even remember anymore. Um, and that new printer too. Um, that video will probably be going up sometime in December as well. So if you want to see any of those, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, then hit the bell. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great re rest of your week. Happy Monday. Um, you know, have fun setting up your budget and let's stick to it. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, guys. Bye.